Now, we're still in North African country, where a delegation from Egypt is en route to China for the Chinese Arab Trade Conference, aimed at boosting trade and investment between the two sides. Egypt is hoping to use this conference to realize strategies which it can use to reduce the current trade imbalance that is tilted in favor of China. CCTV's Yasser Hakim spoke with Dr. Taha Ahmed, the Secretary General of the Egyptian side of the China Egypt Business Council prior to their departure. Taha is also the chairman and senior partner of BDO Egypt, a multinational auditing firm. Uh, first of all, the volume of trade between Egypt and China is in the range of $9.5 billion. Only 1.5 billion are Egyptian exports. How can Egypt uh, balance the trade deficit with China? Egypt can now co or currently be, uh, export raw material to China, like uh, uh, the marble, raw marble. Uh, it also export to, to China certain chemical product. One of the areas which China can really help Egypt and can have the balance of payment or the, between both countries to, to have more towards Egypt is tourism. That one item can help the balance of payment be, between both, both countries. In what products can Chinese investors invest in Egypt? Instead of uh, uh, exporting raw material marble, China can, can have uh, that would be investment and export at the same time. It will be it will be win-win uh, 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 transaction. If if China have a processing factory in Egypt, where they can get the the raw material marble and start to processing it in Egypt, number one they will employ Egyptian, which will 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 give a tight relation between Egypt and China. Number two, they can uh, export the, 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 the finished product to China at a high, at a high value, which is, again would help the, the, Egyptian, the Egyptian export. What are the usual concerns you get from uh, foreign businessmen who want to come to Egypt to invest here? Two things. Number one is security. Number two, stability. This is from the security point of view because, because if, if, if you put yourself in a non-Egyptian investor, why I should go to a country where there is no stability? We need to ask ourselves this question. Uh, we have seen an improvement in stability and security, but not yet to the extent where any foreign investor is seeking or want to have. Once we have these two, security and stability, I believe we're going to gain a lot from tourism, whether from China or from other countries. There is a conference in China uh, very soon that will gather Egyptian Arab uh, businessmen with the Chinese. Uh, how can you get optimum results from this uh, conference? If that conference have uh, opened the door for uh, Egyptian and the Chinese investor to come together and start thinking about having these sort of projects in Egypt. It would help China, not only Egypt. I would give example. We gave automobile industry. We are aiming to have feeding industry for automobile, where the a joint effort between the Egyptian investor and Chinese investor come together and having a feed, automobile feeding industry here. The other thing like uh, railway. I believe at the time of the ex-regime, it was a very important visit by the Ministry of Transport to China. And we have quite a, a long dialogue on the importation and the manufacturing of uh, railway uh, wagons. This is the type of industry which is heavy industry. It would help China as far as Egypt. Egypt now roughly about 90 plus million inhabitants, not only Egypt. It would help Africa because we are just around the corner from Africa. It would help uh, uh, the Middle East. It can help Europe because we are a few hours away from Europe, i.e. Egypt can be a hub for the Chinese industry.
Thank you very much, sir, for joining us.